you want to get crisp vocals for your next melodic dubstep or future bass song, I'm going to show you what plugins to use, how to process them for both dynamics and spatial purposes, and when to break the rules a little so you can get a little creative. Even if you recorded it yourself or you found it off of Splice. Hi, I'm Ash. I'm a producer from Toronto and thank you so much for clicking on my face. It really helps me a lot. I recently released a cover of the cyberpunk anime song, I Really Want to Stay at Your House and y'all had some really nice things to say to me. And I asked you what you wanted me to break down and everybody said the vocal chain. So let's get into it. But before you do any sort of processing, I recommend you have a good recording. That means a good performance and a good microphone. Remember, there isn't going to be a single vocal chain in the world that fixes a bad recording. Now, of course, these tips I'm going to show you will help, but it's better to fix the source before throwing every plugin in the world at it. For all the tips on that, I've got an in-depth tutorial right on Patreon. Stop that. We haven't even showed them anything yet. We don't need to be plugging Patreon this early in the video. Yo, but the first step is a, is a pricey one. You need the money for the plugin. <laughs> it's not that important. Look after yourselves first, guys. You know what? I'm done helping you. I'm going back to this. Aside from the first plugin, the rest of this chain is free. So... What I use to tune the vocal is auto-tune. I use the pro version, which I've set to the key of the song, just C major. I set my voice type, in this case, alto tenor, since I sing in a bit of a higher register. I couldn't wait for you to come and clear the cupboards. And my voice sounds good around retune speed six and 22 humanize, but you can just turn these knobs to suit whatever you're working on. Just know that the lower your retune speed is, the more you sound like Travis Scott. But now you're gonna live with nothing but a sign. Now if you're typing in the comments, Ash, why auto-tune? Can't I just use anything else? Personally, auto-tune is the fastest way for me to get my vocals in tune, and my vocals sound the best on auto-tune. And there's a lot of other alternatives out there. This includes M Auto Pitch if you want a free one. Now, of course, you could be saying is auto-tune expensive. Yeah. Is it worth it for me? Maybe. I chose to invest in auto-tune because it's fast and it's easy. And actually, I finished this song in about a week because I was going through Hello Writer's Block and I used this remix as a challenge to get myself back into the groove of things. So that's why I got auto-tune. Now, the subscription business model kind of sucks. So in order for me to continue paying for auto-tune, time to shout out the sponsor of this video. Ah, so you've got your album done and you're thinking of releasing it independently and you want to do the thing where you release a single instead of the whole thing at once but we gotta we gotta math this out a little bit yeah let's say your album is 12 songs 12 releases in a year you've been paying up to 30 dollars per song whoa that's like 360 dollars a year on monthly release schedule <laughs> not including royalties yo but, 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 but not with this video sponsor distro kid that's right <laughs> If you want to follow this exact same release schedule using DistroKid, you'd only be paying $20. And that's not per song, that's for the entire year. DistroKid lets you upload unlimited songs for $20 a year. <laughs> you could even release twice a month and your wallet wouldn't even break a sweat. And to sweeten the deal, you can get your first year even cheaper with my VIP link just down below. How do I turn this off? Anyway, Distro Kid, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Now back to the video. The rack I'm about to show you is what I put on every single vocal that I have. And shout out to Ray Volpe for showing me this one. First type in the Ableton search bar, reduce ambience. Drag that down. Set the amount to 65 and the time to 1000. This helps tame the vocal dynamics, especially if you sing quietly. The time setting tightens up the vocal overall, so you can adjust this based on how the vocal performance is. Next, our best friend. This OTT is going to be adjustable depending on the vocal, so the amount is probably never going to be at 100, so I tend to keep this down, but I adjust it depending on how much thickness I want to add to the vocal. Since we are doing vocals for melodic dubstep and future bass, I like having the vocals match the dynamic of all the bass sounds that are going to be in the song. So it's your personal preference, but this never goes all the way up to 100. It generally 
moves depending on how beefy I want the vocals to be. Lastly, add in the free plug in Camel Crusher and set it to British Clean. This works together to compress and normalize the vocal. That means having the vocal stay the same volume and have it sit nicely in the mix without a lot of work. These are the final settings I ended up using and here's what it sounds like on the vocal. You know you didn't lose your self control. You know you didn't lose your self control. AKA reverbs and delays. Now, instead of adding reverb like normal and just messing with the dry wet to control it, I like to group it by right clicking, group it, parallel processing by creating a chain, and then bring that reverb up to 100. You can pick your favorite setting from here, then add a compressor, set it to these settings, click the triangle, sidechain, and sidechain it from the track it's on. Look at it, it's coming in from verse one, so that goes in there and then adjust the threshold until it is uh, so that it's cleaner. This way we get a reverb to give that vocal airiness without it sounding like it's just drowning in the reverb. And the clean verb sounds like this. Another evening I'll be sitting reading in between the lines. You can adjust how much reverb there is with this volume slider. Another evening I'll be sitting reading in between the lines. I kept it pretty low because I just want a little bit of airiness on that vocal. The setting I end up using is this plate one, modern dark plate, but just use whatever setting you like. And on the dry chain, the vocal gets a little bit of EQ to take out a little bit of the lows and add a bit of high. Um, actually, why don't you have a surgical EQ at the beginning? Why would you save all any EQ until now? Because I'm not annoying. When you're happy with that, freeze the track and then make a new audio layer. And this is just creative processing that I'm only doing in the very intro of the song. So you freeze that and you can just hold control or command and just drag it onto a new audio track. And this keeps all of the information from the frozen version that you have there. So first thing I add is Smooth Operator. It's like cheaper version of Soothe. This is just to catch any peaks. Yes, that's the surgical EQ. Actually, Andy over there wanted me to do, but of course you don't need this. You can just do surgical EQ if you really want to. I couldn't wait for you to come and clear the cupboard. To be fair, this barely catches it. But whatever, let's keep going. <laughs> And then I make another audio effect rack. I'll call it bus rack because it does the same thing as using buses as uh, send and return channels. But this one just has a lot of delay and reverb because it's the intro of the song and I want it to sound spacey. So as you can see, got a hybrid reverb on there. Big spaces, arena hall. This is the dry channel with nothing on it. And then slight slap delay, minus 20. Without, I couldn't wait for you to come and clear the cupboards. And with, I couldn't wait for you to come and clear the cupboard. And with the rest of the song. I couldn't wait for you to come and clear the cupboards. But now you're gonna live with nothing but a sign. From this, I just duplicated the very first vocal channel for the next layers because the chains are exactly the same. The auto-tune, OTT Camel Crusher combo, and the clean verb rack. I do this to record a few layers to fill out the vocal some more. And first layer are the doubles. With the doubles, I just re-sing all of the same lines. So get away, another way to feel. Get away, another way to feel what you didn't want yourself to know and let yourself go. I did it with a little bit of a different performance, but I do my best to hit the same notes and the same timing. One is panned all the way to the left and another one's panned all the way to the right. The goal here is to add wideness and thickness to the vocal and it's important to just re-sing all of the parts instead of duplicating them to avoid phasing. Yes, you can use different takes to do this as well if you're feeling lazy, but just sing the parts. Next layer is the lower octave. To add some lower thickness, I sang it again. Get away, another other way to feel paying attention to the timing but singing it in a lower register you can also use ableton warp in complex pro mode for a cool robotic effect so you could take your vocal here pitch it down minus 12 make sure it's complex pro and bring the formants around the middle so get away another way to feel what you do yourself 
actually, you should probably use a plugin instead of this. I saw it on the Puppet channel. Stop, you don't need a plugin for everything. Sometimes stuff is just as simple as recording another layer. Having said that, I used a plugin layer <laughs> to create a fake harmony. <laughs> Yeah, this is just me being lazy, okay? And that plugin's not worth it. Don't get it. This would normally sound a lot better if I actually sang it and be a harmony layer, but I used the overpriced plugin, Harmony Engine, to make a fake harmony layer. And altogether, the layers sound like Get away, another way to feel what you do on yourself to know. And with the rest of the song, Get away, another way to feel what you do on yourself to know and let yourself go. section based up modifications not as nerdy as it sounds i promise it's literally just changing up some things based on what part of the song we're in meaning when the chorus hits so what do you want to Here's what I changed. Inside the camel vocal rack, I added an EQ and auto-tune and switched up the retune speed to zero and humanized to zero to really give it the robotic effect. Also boosting the OTT amount and maxing out the camel crusher and using the free plugin Fresh Air for even more high end. And that sounds like this. So what do you wanna do? What's your point of view? There's a part of soon do you wanna go? Now this also has the doubles. So what do you wanna do? What's your point of view? And an octave layer. A handshake with you, what's your I saw it on a streaking on TikTok that you need multiband and dynamics first, and then a surgical EQ and a limiter DSR, and then you I mean, sure, but to be honest, vocal processing is all so situational that what works for someone else might not work for you. And I'm just going over what works for me. Just cause someone says things confidently on camera doesn't mean they're necessarily correct. So there's a point in the song where the chorus goes kind of crazy. So we're getting back into more creative processing. So this is my dry vocal with nothing on it. We've got overdrive with a utility pushing it up and an EQ, making sure to take out the lows on that. These are the settings I used. Micro Shift, which is a Sound Toys plugin, but you can just use a chorus for the same effect. This one's just put up to the max and I just need it for some extra wideness. Another clean reverb. So same clean reverb setting with it side chain to itself. And here's the cool thing, the vocoder that I added onto it, which adds a lot of cool harmonics. If you don't know how to use a vocoder, literally watch any of my other videos. The carrier sounds like this. Just a chaos saw going crazy and mixing that in with the vocal. So what do you want to do? This was actually an accident. It sounded really dope, so I did it. And after all of that is figured out, we gotta get all of these layers that we've added in to sit nice together. So... Good thing to do is to group it all into one big group like that. This way we can get the vocal sitting nice along all the other sounds. And now we do that subtractive EQ, that's right. Emphasis on subtractive, it's better to remove instead of adding. And now that we have a group processing, less changes, very small changes, only minus two dB, wide cues, that type of thing. All of the EQ changes are taking away instead of adding because I'm listening back to it. Do, what's your point of view? There's a, a little screen. harsh without it. Oh, and I'm just trying to tame it a little bit. And then for security, another smooth operator to cut down some of the resonances. Do, what's your point of view? There's a but this is very, very subtle. And then the smallest side chain ever because a snare, drum, a punchiness over everything. It's barely hitting it, but it's there so that when the kick hit, the vocal doesn't overpower it. And then finally, a telephone vocal preset that I can automate on and off if I want that vocal effect. I forget where I used it. Is it somewhere here? Telephone vocal? Yeah, I just use it in a few sections here. It's literally used like twice in the whole song. If you made it this far, 
You're a legend. Do you have any creative vocal chain processes that you like to use? What's your favorite vocal plugin? Can you even sing? I know I dumped a lot of info on you, so if you have any questions, comment them below and I will do my best to answer them. Don't forget to respectfully tap that like and subscribe button if you learned something today. It really helps me out. And if you want to support me even further, join the Patreon. Shout out to all the VIPs on there. Y'all pay me to keep making these videos. All together, the vocals sound like... If you're wondering how to make the lead of that drop, that is a bonus tutorial over on Patreon, along with this project file and serum presets and more. Also, go listen to my remix cover. Then go make some bangers. That's all today. See ya. Peace.